Hey, so, uh, to me again, I actually did a video for you guys just showing the ball python about three hours ago. It's It was 7 o'clock then, now it's like 9. And I'm actually doing a science fair on ball pythons, and that's why I borrowed this guy. And I'm actually going to, if you guys are really interested in snakes and you want to do something, like science fair, blah, 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 I'm actually going to give you a couple ideas. Well... And one, you guys totally owe me for this one. But, uh, like, if you're fourth grade, fifth grade, try testing, uh, how strong is a ball python. Well, but that one's never really accurate. But if you're in fourth grade, that'll give you a good grade. But in seventh grade, eighth grade, you actually want to try can you train a snake or something over, like, 12 weeks? Uh, can you, um,. Can you blind a snake? Uh, well, of course you can, but you gotta give more specific reasons. Because, of course you can blind a snake. Snakes, for instance, if you put something black in front of their face, they can't see it as fast as something that was, like, yellow or a little green, you know? But of, after a while they'll adapt and they'll actually see it. But snakes don't actually see, they see through their tongue, which is actually, it's actually very confusing to, uh, to talk, to describe, but you get the idea. And you could probably do some research on that, but I'm going to help you guys get started, and the first step to always a project is never actually the steps to doing the project, if you have to, like, build something or something. It's always the research, straight up research. And of course, of course, if you're doing something on ball pythons exactly, that's always going to be a hard one. But you can always do that blind test or the string. But there's not going to be many books exactly on the ball python. But you see here, there's actually a little paragraph on pythons. And that can you actually, actually give you an idea of what ball pythons are kind of. But don't take the paragraph word for word, like, it says, this is the one of the largest snakes in the world, and ball pythons are super tiny. They're very slow, and, yeah. And they're not very strong can, compared to the Burmese python, or anything like that. As, because, Burmese are much faster, much stronger, they can actually kill you, and, well, they can kill you after time or whatever but anyways but the teacher they can actually give you double points just for research and they don't care if you do the research know some like little fun facts they don't care about that they care about if you actually know it and it's in your head and you did more than just looking it up on a book or a website books they are more decent about that but websites, they absolutely hate it. Because you're just using an easy way out of using the 21st century right there. They don't want you to use that. And the best way to even get like triple or double points, something like that, extra credit, is to do like visual. As in, you see here, I volunteered to take care of my snake that is actually the school snake. And I built him some stuff too, but uh, they don't like visual. Like at night, I found out if you move his stuff around, but not at night, but like before around seven, eight, maybe nine, they start to get really active. Before you do that, maybe like midday or like in the morning, right after night, you just, when he's like going into a sleeping day because ball pythons are nocturnal and pretty much if you move them around the like say if I move the log over by the hut and move the water bowl over by the log he's he's gonna be more curious about that than just sitting there like oh it's the same way again and then he gets less active time and maybe even less exercise but that doesn't matter when it comes. I, that was just an example of how to do research. And you can also even get a better grade is by going to a vet or a 
local Petco or Pets PetSmart or even a pet daycare or something like that. You don't actually have to talk to a vet to get the right facts or interesting facts. You can actually just go to someone who works with them, like, like, you know, floor workers who just clean out the cages. They know more about it than probably the vets do. All the vets do is just talk about the insides and help and fix them, diagnose them if there's something wrong with them. But the people who work on the floors and probably clean out their cages, they're mostly like, most likely going to know more in a faster time than going to college and like learning about these guys for like four years. But when they just clean out the cage, they can see their reaction and everything. Everything. I'm not saying that floor workers know more than vets. It's just that they learn it faster in a... They learn it more fast instead of just going to four years of college just to do it. And an example of just how you can even uh, prove your uh, research or say it in a presentation like a science fair like I'm doing. You can uh, always research is the most crucial part and pretty much... If you stick that in the beginning, the very beginning, and put it in little spots all over your presentation, but don't say research so much like I'm doing in this video, uh, put it around and saying like, we notice that this particular spot in our building or whatever was a little crooked, so we went back and looked and something like that, blah blah blah. And that's how you do research for ball pythons, snakes, science fairs, and everything. So, and then for my next video, which I'll do, be doing in like 30 minutes, is going to be about how you can get started, how you start building, or how to uh, even get your parents to uh, get you to buy one, or stuff like that and even research can get your parents more into uh buying a ball python if your parents like mine they're totally terrified of snakes they know that you know what to do and not like be like okay we fed them what do we do now well you wait a couple weeks take care of them redo the whole bowl the water bowl refill it take it out clean it refill it take it out clean it now, and that's how research can help you get even get a ball python or just for science fair and project needs. So, thanks.